It has been a hot minute since I have done any sort of a declutter and my palette collection is out of control. Hello friends, I have over a hundred palettes in my collection. I will have to count these up as I go through, but I really have kind of changed in the past little while what I'm doing with my eyes and kind of lightening up my makeup a lot. And even though I adore eyeshadow palettes, I'm trying really hard not to buy ones that have such bright, bright colors because I have enough of those in my collection. But what I am doing today is I'm decluttering because there are so much. I'm going to pan you towards my vanity and I have loaded my vanity. Hopefully that won't be too dark for you guys to see. I have loaded my vanity with all of my eyeshadow palettes. So panning back to me, we are going to go in and we are going to declutter a ton. I'm excited about this because my collection needs to shrink and there couldn't possibly be all of these that I could use. So let's get into this palette declutter right now. This is crazy insane because there's no person on the planet that needs this many palettes. Oh my word. Okay, so I'm gonna start by by just showing you the ones that I very recently got that I am not decluttering because I haven't even had a chance to show them or anything on the channel. So this is the Makeup Revolution, Patricia Bright Rich in Life. I don't know if any of you have seen this before. It just looked really pretty to me, so I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. And yes, it does have a bunch of really bright colors, but it does have a lot of neutrals, so I am kind of excited about that. I did very recently show you guys these Essence little six pan palettes and I really like them. Um, I'm going to be keeping those, but they have a bunch of different colors and that one is the blue one. There is a mauve, a coral, and a green, and then the taupe that I've already shown you. So I'm going to be keeping those. Um, an Ulta little palette that I'm going to be keeping also, this one is uh, Daydream. And so it has some taupey colors in there. I'm going to be keeping that. And then another essence called Daily Dose of Love, which I think is very pretty. And then also I haven't tried this one from Joa called Birthday Suit. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And then what you saw me in today is the one from Wet n Wild. This is the Petalette one, which I love this one. It's so pretty. And just think that this makes the most beautiful mauve look on your eyes. Modern Renaissance my very oldest palette. I'm not going to get rid of that for kind of for sentimental reasons. Not really that I dive into it much anymore, but I would like to if I have the chance. Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love this palette. You can't get it anymore. I keep that one because the Temptress palette, which I don't even see right now, from Alter Ego is a dupe for it, and it's great. I am going to have an avalanche before this is over. I just know it. <laughs> the Norvina from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is another one that I really like. I like the colors, but they're muted. They're, and that's why I keep this palette around. I just think that it's such a pretty palette. And then this one, this is, I believe, a Morphe face palette. I got this quite recently and I'm totally unimpressed. I think this is a, the medium one. Everything is very orange and kind of a lot of texture on those highlighters. That one is going to be decluttered. Not impressed with that at all. Sweet Violet from Violet Voss. Such a pretty little palette. Oh my goodness. I really like this palette. I like the formula. I just stuck my, thing, my thumbnail in there. Darn it. I love this, but you know what? I never, ever reach for it. And the formula is great, but I have so many purples in my collection. I think I'm going to declutter that one as well. I've shown you this one very recently. This is the Blueberry Muffin Palette from BH Cosmetics and the hair's extra. So <laughs> if you get the chance, you really should try out BH Cosmetics formula. I really have been finding that I'm really enjoying it and liking it. And the Blueberry Muffin is a really nice cool toned one that I've really been loving. All right, the Nubian 3 Coral from Juvia's Place. I feel like this is enough. Oh my gosh, there's the avalanche. I feel like this is enough of a, almost like a neutral coral neutral 
beautiful gray palette that I'm going to keep this one around as well. And then, of course, the Natasha Denona Glam palette. I'm just reaching for them as they're right here. The Glam palette, I'm going to keep that one. I really have been enjoying that one. My Sydney Grace Enduring Love is not going anywhere. You all know how much I love this. This is the old packaging that they have on it. This one is the designer collection from ColourPop of the Princesses. So much fun. This is a lighter toned palette. So I really love this one and I think that I'll be keeping that one as well. The Jackie Ina Anastasi Beverly Hills. Again, I don't reach for this one a lot, but I thought they did a fantastic job on it. I just have to be super duper light handed. But if you are a, a gal that has a deeper skin tone or dark skin tone, this is a gorgeous palette that works so good on dark skin. And I'm going to keep that one around for a while. Garden Variety from ColourPop. This one, again, is those light pastel colors. It has five in here of all of these 15 um, colors that are mattes. And even though I love them and I, you know, I really like ColourPop's formula, I'm going to declutter this one because I just, I haven't reached for it in like six months. These are my two Huda Beauty Haze palettes. I liked these a little bit better than I normally liked the Huda Beauty formula. This one is really good. And yeah, I love that formula in that. So I'm going to keep that. The other one was the Khaki Haze. I don't think I said that. This one's Purple Haze. I like this too, and I'm going to keep this for a while. I just haven't had enough chance to work with those. This little Natasha Denona palette, you know what? <laughs> as much as I do like Natasha Denona, I don't know if I am just over the moon excited about it. And this little palette, I think I've reached for twice and I'm not super happy with it. It's the mini Lila palette. I'm going to declutter that one. This is an elf palette. I loved these new mint ones that they had that they came out with. So those were really beautiful. Come on camera. Let's do our job. Maybe if I zoom in a little bit. So now I've zoomed in. Hopefully we will stay on task here camera. So I do love these little palettes. I'm probably not going to get rid of one of them. Here's the Akea U or however you say it of the elf palette. Like that one too. All of these elf ones. And I am actually not going to show you all of these that have the clear on it. This one is the mint melt. Oh, this is meant to be. The other one was Melissa chocolate mint. Okay. So those are staying. Here's my wet and wild. These are the new ones. I am not impressed with the glitter that is in some of these. I just don't think it's that great and not happy with it, but I do like all the other colors in here. So I'm going to keep these. These are newer to my collection as well. This one is the, oh goodness, Walking on Eggshells. This one is the My Lucky Charm. That one was the Camouflant. And I know I have more, but they're not right here. So I'm not going to look at those. This one in Elf is the Carnival Candy. Got a bunch of pretty colors in there as well. Come on camera. I'm trying guys with this stupid camera. I'm really trying. Okay. And then I put down over here a couple more Natasha Denona. I'm not going to get rid of these. Not because I really like this one too much. Honestly, this one is the Love Palette. But I'm going to try and dupe these for you and continue to dupe. And so I, I've i worked with this a couple of times, but I don't like this one as much as the Glam. And I don't like the new Zendo palette as much as the Glam either. Maybe I just need to work with them more. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, it's okay, but they're not like my favorite. Gimme Glow Cosmetics has this one called the Vivid Rose. If you guys haven't had anything from Gimme Glow Cos Cosmetics yet, oh my. <laughs> Oh my, my, my. Um, this color over here is so pretty. They're all so metallic. If you like metallic eyeshadows, they are just incredibly pretty. And yeah, I love those. The other one in here that I have is the vintage rose of theirs. And this one is equally as beautiful. It has kind of the burgundy colors in here and then the greens. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Their company is amazing. This one is the Amethyst from Huda Beauty. I've been really back and forth on whether or not I should decolor declutter these, but I think that I'm going to go ahead this time and declutter them because I haven't reached for these in over a year. This is one of the five um, palettes from Wet n Wild, the new ones, but this is the new palette and this one falls far short, 
oh my goodness, of the original Petalette. That one's going. I don't like it very much. This one is from ColourPop. To tell you the truth, I'm not super impressed with these five pans from ColourPop. Although I think this one right here, which is ah, Melt For You, I think it's real pretty. I do kind of like it, but I also know that I have not reached for it very much. Ah, that one's hard because I like the really, really pale colors in there, but I have them in other things. I'm going to declutter that one. This one is SWAK, and I'm going to probably declutter this one as well. It's These are nice, but they're just not something that I'm reaching for all the time. Blush Crush from ColourPop. I adore this palette. It is one of those ones that's light enough for me, and it has enough of um, a little bit on the neutral tones that I can use it even though it is, you know, blush crush. <laughs> I'm going to keep that one. The Aurora palette from the Princess Collection. Now, I think I kept one or I kind of gave it to my daughter. I don't remember. These are really nice, but you know, I have all of these colors somewhere else and I just haven't been reaching for this one. So I think I'm going to give that one to my daughter as well and let her enjoy that one. This is the new Shadow Kiss from Alter Ego that is the dupe for the Glam Palette, and I do have a video on that, which I will try to throw up in a card if I remember to do that, where I show you both of those. So I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have the, uh, these are the 10 Pan Palettes from Wet n Wild. These are fairly new to my collection as well, and they're ones that people really like right now. This one is Nude Awakening right here, and then this one is uh, Lights Off. So that one's kind of cool toned. And then this one is Heart and Soul. And you know what? I think I'm going to declutter Heart and Soul because the colors are so warm for me. So I'm probably going to get rid of that one. This is an old palette, but I love it and I can't get away from it. And it's the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts. I don't even know if they have this anymore. Look how messy it is because I use it all the time. The only color that I don't use in here is that orange color over there. But these are some next level quality thing, uh, eyeshadows and things. Elf Retro Paradise. This is fairly good, but it has so many chunky glitters in it that I think I'm going to declutter it because I have so many others and that one was okay, but it wasn't the greatest ever. Our Beauty has these little quads. They're pretty good. Um, the other ones I didn't like as well as this one. This one is Petal Play and it's just that quad. And I'm gonna keep this one, but the other ones I'm probably gonna declutter. This was one I bought from C Color Cosmetics as well to dupe a palette from Too Faced. And I am getting rid of my Too Faced palettes when they come around in here, you'll see me get rid of them. So I'm gonna declutter that one. This one is the Sapphires from Pearl Fusion. And while I love this formula, these colors I have elsewhere. So that one is going to get decluttered right now. These are my quads from Wet n Wild, um, the color icon that they had before this. And I'm not getting rid of any of these. This one is Stop Ruffling My Feathers. This one is Flock Party. This one is Night the Knight's Quad. And then this one is Hosta La Costa Baby. This one is Fit for a Queen. This one is Sweet as Candy. And this one is Hooked on Vinyl. I love these. I love the formula of them. Uh, there's no way I'm getting rid of any of those because they're great. I really have liked those for a long time. This is the Sunkissed palette from Profusion. I'm going to keep this one. This is the only Profusion I'm keeping today because this has almost all the colors that I would need. And they're a little bit lighter pastel -y colors. So I can wear them on my eyes and, you know, not worry about how dark everything gets. This one is the Everyday Chic Palette. I showed this pretty recently on my channel, I believe. This is a Morphe palette. I enjoy these colors very much. I think that these are colors that just about anybody can wear. And that, so they have the very dark colors and then they have the very light colors if you're very fair. I really like that one. This is a Makeup Forever tin that I have put all of my singles in. And there's your purple heaven, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I love me some purple and I got a whole lot of purple in here. I got some greens thrown in there, but yeah, purples and pinks in that baby. And yes, those singles did cost me quite a dang bit. They're all called Petal Play. That one that I showed you that I'm keeping is called Black Iris. 
This one is the in bloom one that I am going to be getting rid of and decluttering. Just, I'm not crazy about all of those shimmers in there. This one right here from um, Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2. I love this, but uh, it's just so dark. I can't wear it. And I am going to declutter that one. And then this one right here is the Cool Neutrals from NYX. I was kind of disappointed in this actually as the way it performed. So I used it once or twice and I used these cool toned um, mauve colors. And yeah, it just it just kind of fell flat for me. I have another one or two of these from BH Cosmetics that I purchased really recently. This one is Paris. Um, so pretty. I love the colors in here because they're muted, even though they look really bright because they're on a white background, they're fairly muted. And I really haven't had a chance to dive into that too much. I've used that, um, purple right there and I've used this white one right here. So I need to work with that more. I should have put that in the beginning. Smitten in Switzerland. I adore this palette. I love the muted tones in there, and I love that it is a little bit cool, but, you know, a little bit neutral. Blushing and belly shouldn't even be in here because it's a blush palette. Sorry about that, but I'll show it to you really quickly. I have that in a uh, video very recently. The New Nudes palette from Huda Beauty. This is one that was my holy grail uh, back in 2018 or 2017 when I did the yearly favorites. I'm still not going to get rid of this one. I'm going to be keeping it. And then I have two Dominate Cosmetics that I've been holding on to. But this is the Berries and Cream one. Um, I love this palette. There is a couple of colors in here that are fabulous, which is this one right here, which is all matte. That looks amazing on textured eyelids. Now this color over here, which is Sugar Cookie, it looks good there too. So what I'll do is I'll put this on my inner eyelid. This goes on my middle and then use another color. This palette has been really fun for me and I've used it a lot and I'm definitely not getting rid of it. And then their Rustic Glam one, which is right here. This one is one of those ones that I fell in love with as well. I just think that these palettes are so well done as far as their formula. I love this green right here. It's so beautiful. And the, the mattes in here are very, very they're superb, I should just say. I've been using these for a couple of years now, and I go back to them over and over again. I'm definitely not getting rid of that. You very recently in a purse video, a purse makeup kit video, saw this Tarte palette, and I still am absolutely in love with this. It is one of those ones that is just, it's so good. I love that you have everything in one palette, and you throw it in your purse, you're good to go. That's Taupe from ColourPop love the cool tones in this palette. If you're a cool tone gal and you have a hard time finding a cool tone palette, you're going to love that. Going Coconuts is a warm slash neutral palette that I do like using. Um, it is not the greatest as far as cool tones go, but as far as neutrals, it's wonderful. All right, I'm not going to declutter any of these, but I'm going to show you my collection. This is the LA Girl 16 pan palettes, and then this is the 9 pan palettes. You guys have seen me talk about these many times. This one right here is probably my favorite of the nine pans downplay. Very cool toned on that one. This one is the purple one. It's called Playtime. I find that that's kind of more along the lines of pink though, really than purple because you really only have these two over here. Well, that one's not bad. Um, and then, but the formula is fantastic. And then I hold on to this one, even though it's very warm toned because these right here, and even that one, that's kind of a beige, these, all these materials, Metallics, except for that really warm one in the center are beautiful. This one's called Playmate. And then Desert Dream. This one is their VIP one, Desert Dream, very recently. I think you might be able to still get this one at Ulta, not 100% sure. And then this one, which is called Main Stage. This is the Desert Dream as well. I love those cool tones in there. This formula, I have a video on this formula and how much I love it. It's amazing. Yes, the lid is broken on that one. This is the Hot Heat, and that one is the Vacate Every Day. So gorgeous. I love these. This is the Pro Mastery one. That's a dupe for the Modern Renaissance one. This is the Break Free one. Um, this is me, Break Free. This is the pur purple one, pink one that came out at the same time that the golden one came out on those. This is the Artistry one. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this light color over here and then that silver and that right that um, mint kind of green right there. 
It's actually more along the lines of a moss green. Love those. Fierce and wild. Oh man, these are so beautiful. There is gorgeous, gorgeous neutral tones. And here is the LA Girl Hot Heat one. That color down in the bottom that's a duochrome is so beautiful on your lid. I'm going to show you. Check that out. Woo! I love that color. Whoa, I love that color. All right. I am getting a ton here that I'm keeping. Fierce and Wild. There's one that's broke because I used it so often. This is gorgeous. Love these colors. Okay. That's my LA Girl collection that is not going anywhere. Now I need to get tougher on myself. Come on, Melissa. Uh, ColourPop. Um, this one has glitter. It is the Lyric palette. This one has glitter. It's the Amore palette. Both of those are going. This one doesn't have glitter. This is the Ballad palette. I think I'll keep that one. So I like that one. The Temptress palette from Alter Ego that I just spoke about that is the dupe for the Sultry palette. That one is stink. Sorry. Out of frame. Sorry. Okay, that one is staying on there. This one was my very is my very favorite of all of the Juvia's Place palette. This is the Magic, and this is before they had the Mini. So this is the big one. Love it. It's got a ton of colors in there. Saturation and blendability is fantastic. And I'm going to keep that one. This one I got very recently. It's the Naughty palette from BH Cosmetics. And man, is this a good palette. I hope that they bring this palette again back this year. The quality in here and the blendability. That's fantastic. I wish that I could have given this palette to every one of you because that is a really, really good palette. This is the new classics from e.l.f. Such a good palette. Again, oh, I love this palette. If you guys need a, a neutral palette, but you want something that's got a little bit of variety, you've got beautiful cool tones and neutral tones in there and just a couple of warms. So I love that. This one is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. You know what? I, I'm going to declutter this one. I have been a huge Juvia's Place fan forever, but these ones that I haven't reached for in a blue moon, I just, I can't justify keeping them around and not using them. This is the Zulu. This is so bright and so pretty, but again, I I won't use that one. I won't reach for that one because of all of the colors. This one I will reach for. This is the Deuce, and I do love that one. There's so many good um, colors and beautiful looks that can come out of that one. Juvia's Place, if you guys have seen them and you've been wondering, I do have a video on them. I love, love, love them. This is the Masquerade by Juvia's Place. This one, oh, this was my very first Juvia's Place one, and... I'm looking at it going, I don't use those, but I'm also looking at it and kind of having a little heartfelt, like warm and fuzzy moment. <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep that one for a little while. This is another 32 pan from Wet n Wild of their color icons. That one's sticking around. That was, that one is still available on their website. This one is the Tiny Marvels by Mel Thompson and um, Sydney Grace. I love this palette. So sweet. I don't reach for it that much because there are a few colors in there that I can't wear, but I really do like that. Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. I've had a few of you very recently ask me about it. Yes, it is worth it. Yes, it is a nice palette. Yes, you can get cool tones. Lots of cool tones here, neutrals, and a little bit of warm over here. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this one, Gingerbread Spicy from last year, going. Didn't buy these. Actually, they were given to me by a friend and even though they're okay they're just not me and i'm not crazy about supporting Too faced that is something we'll talk about another time i bought this one at marshall's this is a laura mercier palette this is her hidden gems palette and this quality is so disappointing i am here to tell you that i have never been more disappointed in quality of a high-end palette than this one that's probably not true, and I'm probably exaggerating, but you get my point. So this one is definitely going. All of my ColourPop 9-pan palettes that I really do love. This is a newer one to me. This is On Cloud Blue. Um, beautiful. Haven't had a chance to use it enough. Have I even used that? Oh my goodness, that's terrible. I'm going to put that in with my new ones that I will use to show you guys. Meant to be beautiful light greens that I definitely can use. The Just My Luck you know what, friends? I, oh, I'm going to keep this for one more cycle and then I will see if I want to declutter it because these warm colors just aren't doing me any favors and I wouldn't wear them. You know what? I'm going to declutter it. Blue Moon, I'm going to keep. Um, 
I love that periwinkle blue and you can see I've used that palette a ton in a trance I'm not sure you can even get this one anymore, but I love these pastel colors in here. So pretty I don't like that color pop does that stupid glitter, but Lots of people do, so I can't complain too much. Lilac you a lot. Definitely a keeper if I can get the thing open. There it is. Just pretty light purple colors. It's my pleasure. <gasps> Just lost one. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to put that back in there in just a second, but you can see what it is. Um, actually, at the point I'm at with this, I'm probably going to declutter this, even though it is a purple one. It just simply is not one that I reach for ever. And so I'm going to press this in here and then I'm going to put some alcohol on it and try to pass it along to a friend. Ooh la la palette is all pinks and I'm going to declutter this one this time too because I just, they're too bright. I just don't wear them anymore. All right, Miss Bliss. Let's open this one. This one I am going to declutter as well. Got the glitter in the middle. I have these colors in other palettes, even though I like it. It's just not one that I reach for. All right, this one is the Juvia's Place, the Mauves. Um, I like this one a lot, and I think I'm gonna keep that one, and yes, I'll have a million little plastic pieces on the floor. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I do like that one a lot. And then the Violets. I had all of these at one time, the little six ones, but I really decluttered most of them. The Violets is beautiful as well, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, Bye Bye Birdie from ColourPop. That has like two glitters in it, and I have these colors in other things, and as much as I adore this packaging, I'm going to get rid of that one because it just isn't something that really speaks to me. This is a Tom Ford palette, and I will tell you all, this is one where you definitely go, that is just about the hype. I haven't had a chance really to work with this, but swatching it, I wasn't super impressed. But I am going to um, work with it, see if I can find you guys a dupe for it. Making Mauves, one of my favorite mauve tone palettes. If you are like mauve tones and you like cool tones, that is a really good one for that. And then this one is All Things Equinox. I love this one as well. This is a neutral one that is kind of mauve but it's light. And I do like this one very much. So I'm going to be keeping that one. There's three of these Milanis in the gold packaging from years ago. They're not going anywhere. The Pure Passions was all reds and oranges. That one's gone. But the Soft and Sultry, a dupe for the Natasha Denona, I believe. Yes, I'm keeping that one. Bold Obsessions, I love this one as well. Cool, neutral, warm, beautiful. Love this formula. Amazing. Most love mattes. Oh my word. Yes, there's all these warms over here, down here, but these other ones are very neutral and cool, and that's why I keep them, and they are creamy and buttery, and oh, I love them. Dream Street Palette by Kathleen Lights. I have put this in my box to declutter a million times and pulled it back out, but this time it is going because nobody can get that anymore. I shouldn't show it on my channel. Butter Me Up, I have never put it in my declutter pile, but it's going this time even though, again, I adore this packaging, I can't hang on to something when I don't use it. And that one, I just don't use anything in there. Rendezvous, you can't get any more as well. And I have these colors, and I need to just let go of stuff. And so that one's going to Salute to Paris from Essence. These are so good. I'm not getting rid of this. This is really, really pretty. I really have been enjoying this. So this one is staying around. This one is not an eyeshadow palette. Well, it's technically an, an eyeshadow and face palette but these colors that are right here they're so pretty on the eyes and i use these colors over here on the eyes too this is from pixie beauty and it's the rage loves palette and this is one of the best palettes i've ever used you can see that i kind of broke that one up a little bit but man you guys this is one of the best formulas and it works so good on anybody's skin and oh wow i love that now if there are anything in here that you guys look at and you go oh melissa why haven't you shown that let me know and i will this one is let me know and i let me finish my thought <laughs> let me know and i will see if i could get a tutorial or if i've had a past tutorial or a look on a video and i will send you that one four three press powder palette from ColourPop. going don't like the glitters in there and that bright bright pink is not me anymore. You're a cutie I love this palette and i'm not going to get rid of it even though it's not available anymore I hope that someday they bring it back because this is one of my favorite 
just fun purple with a little hint of other colors in there that I really like a lot. So that one's going to stick around. Flutterby, this is one that you guys can still get. And I am going to keep this one too because it does have a lot of cool tones in it. And I've enjoyed this one even though it does have the glitter in the middle. I, I really enjoy it. From Makeup Revolution, um, I know I showed you the one in the beginning. But this one, I am not a Makeup Revolution fan anymore. I don't even know if I've opened this one. Is there still tape on it? There might still be. Yep, there's still tape on it. I haven't even opened it because I'm not a fan of their formula anymore. It's no good. And that one's going. This new one, Electric Mood by Tiana Major 9 and Elf. I'm not a fan of this either, mostly because these are all very, very warm colors. So, yeah, this just really it just didn't hit my buttons because there it's so bright so bold and there's a ton of metallics this palette probably shouldn't even be in here this is not one that i need to show this is one that i'm going to be decluttering this is some stuff that i got that i just i don't like anymore and it's going to be going into the declutter pile this one is um more along the lines of my buxom and my visi arts that i love those are specifically formulas that I like. And then this one right here is the Huda Beauty Mercury in retrograde. I keep this one for dupable purposes, but I don't like this palette. I don't think that the um, quality is there. The blendability is there. I'm not crazy about her formula when she had these big palettes, except for the new nudes. So these two right here have glitter. That one has glitter. You get the gist. That one has glitter. Um, they're okay, but they're not my favorite. This is Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust from like last year or two years ago. I keep this palette because I just, it's sentimental and I love the packaging on it. And I'm going to tally all these up. There's the ones on the floor that are getting decluttered. And then I will be right back and we'll talk. All right. So 85 palettes is what I'm keeping. And then over here on this side from right here all the way over are all of those ones that I'm getting rid of. So there's 40 over there. So those are all 40 that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to talk. That was a little bit nuts. I know, but I wanted to show you what I was getting rid of, tell you a little bit of reason why this video is probably very long. I do hope that you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. Do you disagree with me on any of the keepers or the get rid ofs? Let me know in the comment section. Yes, I did get my hair darkened a little bit. I'm not crazy about it, but yes, that's my thing going right now. I hope that's everything. I love you very much. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you all in my very next video, I hope. Bye, my friends.